The Glendale Galleria is an enclosed regional shopping center in Glendale, California that opened in 1976. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. The 1970s was a time of demolition in Glendale, California, with old residents being replaced by higher density multifamily apartments and low rise commercial buildings being torn down in favor of taller properties in the downtown core. This rapid destruction was a trend during the 1970s, part of the revitalization and modernization of the area. As part of this revitalization of the area, the construction of the Glendale Galleria began in 1973 as land agreements were negotiated with the Glendale's Redevelopment Agency. The $75 million, 1.6 million square foot with its windowless unadorned brick finish officially opened on October 14th, 1976. In August of 1976, the Galleria opened with a 90,000 square foot buffums, as well as a 191,000 square foot Broadway department store with a restaurant called The Chafing Dish, opened before the official grand opening. In October of that year, Orbox, the sixth store in the Los Angeles area, would become the mall's third anchor followed in November by J.C. Penney, who would be the fourth and final anchor at the mall. By the late 1970s and into the 80s, Glendale Galleria would become a regional shopping center powerhouse. By 1983, the Galleria would get its first expansion called the Galleria II. It expanded a wing of the mall as well as adding another anchor store. 75,000 square foot Nordstrom's opened along with Mervyn's who completed the expansion. In 1983, the very first Panda Express restaurant opened in the Galleria 2. In the 1985 movie, Daryl, which is about a seemingly normal 10-year-old boy who turns out to be a government-created robot with superhuman reflexes and mental abilities, the movie was supposedly filmed at the Windsor Park Mall in Texas, but after watching some of the side-by-side -side comparisons, it looks to be filmed at the Glendale Galleria. In June of 1986, Orbach's parent company announced the closure of all of the California stores and would close by the end of the year. The Glendale Galleria also had another first original store when the first Disney store opened on March 28, 1987. By the beginning of the 1990s, the Glendale Galleria was now over 1.6 million square feet in size and had annual revenues of $350 million. In 1990, Buffum's parent company would go out of business and the Buffum store closed. The Buffum's building would be torn down and a new 179,000 square foot Robinson's May would be built. It would be the, on the mall's southwest corner and was the first department store that came into view for drivers coming from the Golden State 5 freeway and along Central Avenue from Los Angeles. 
In 1996, the Broadway closed and reopened as Macy's. In the spring of 2001, Apple chose to open its very first two retail stores. These two would be the first of some 25 stores opening later in the year. Apple Store No. 1 opened at the Glendale Galleria. It actually opened a few hours after the Virginia location debuted. On December 6, 2002, General Growth Properties acquired the Glendale Galleria. For $415 million. In the fall of 2006, Robinson's May closed. It was considered the Glendale Galleria's most prominent anchor department store. The Galleria was one of about 68 locations nationwide that housed both Macy's and Robinson's May department stores. The shuttered Robinson's May outlet at the mall would soon be occupied by a three story Target. Development city officials called it ironic since the mall once objected to the chain going into a project next door. In May of 2008, the Americana at Brand, a large outdoor dining, entertainment, and residential complex, opened across the street from the Glendale Galleria. In 2009, Mervyn's filed for bankruptcy and closed its Glendale Galleria location. The Glendale Galleria was in need of refreshing. Originally built in two phases, by 2011, the competitive landscape in and around the Galleria had changed significantly. Mervyn's had long ago closed and remained vacant. Nordstrom had just announced that they would be relocating next to the Americana. General Growth Properties, as a company, had just emerged from bankruptcy, and the Galleria's physical plant aesthetic was dated. GGP aggressively pursued landing Bloomingdale's to anchor the former Mervyn's box store. Doing so jump started the overall renovation. The center got a total makeover with new flooring, new common area lighting and ceilings, new wayfinding, new interior wall treatments, the elimination of the dark brick, revised grade change circulation, new exterior entries, including a stunning Central Avenue entry, new Central Avenue bridge cladding, a remodeled food court, and new relocated vertical transportation and parking enhancements. The primary consideration was that a requisite for landing Bloomingdale's as an anchor was a commitment to renovating the center. While consistently and historically generating strong sales, the center's physical plant was very dated. The food court looked like something out of the 80s movie about high school. Think Fast Times at Ridgemont High, even though that wasn't the mall. The interior was hard and dark, and the existing design had lots of brick, little natural light. And fluorescent industrial like ceiling light fixtures. Beginning on April 25, 2012, the Galleria underwent the $57.5 million renovation and was completed on November 9, 2013. The renovation of the Glendale Galleria included aesthetic and functional improvements to the regional retail destination that refreshed and updated its brand and identity. Improvements included modernized finishes and lighting, as well as improved circulation, access, and signage. After the renovation, new stores such as Perch, Uniqlo, Zara, Bindi Jewelers, and Porsche Design joined the tenant lineup at Glendale. But it was culminated with the opening of Bloomingdale's in November of 2013. In 2014, Nordstrom closed at the Galleria and moved next door to the Americana. In 2016, Dick's Sporting Goods would move into the empty Nordstrom building, while Gold's Gym would occupy the other half when it moved in in 2019. In 
2020, Billie Eilish used the Glendale Galleria as a setting for her music video, Therefore I Am. On July 14th, 2021, the very first Disney store closed its doors. Today, the 1.6 million square foot three-level mall has six anchors, Bloomingdale's, Target, Gold's Gym, Macy's, JCPenney, and Dick's Sporting Goods, and features over 200 stores, and welcomes over 30 million visitors a year. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was six, give yourself a hand. You're paying attention. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.